Once you've brought in your schedule and you've reviewed your data on the on-screen Yamazumi charts, we give you a single click to generate an Excel issue report. This is going to highlight all the issues where the model mix and options exceed the tag time. So in this video here, we're just going to look at this, this particular section right here, here down to here, so because what we're giving you here is an Excel report that you can use for offline reviews here. Now let's look at that Excel report by double clicking here. What we have here is a single Excel workbook that summarizes every issue in the run schedule. And when we go in here, we're going to see a couple of things here. First of all, over in column A, we're going to have issue numbers assigned here automatically. Down at the bottom, you're going to have one tab for each issue. Over here in column H, this is going to be a very important column. This is where we show you the percent of the time that each of these tasks is over the tag time. And obviously, you might want to focus on the higher excesses. So you don't have to spend too much time in the small ones, but these big ones you certainly want to have a look at here. It will also tell you the date and the time when this issue is going to occur if you've used uh, times when you loaded the schedule here and then the actual build sequence at which it's going to occur here. And we scroll down here for a particular option. It's going to show you the details. So here you can see we've got an Excel sheet and there's two tasks that I exceed the attack time. There's one over here, the one in yellow, and this one down here, the one in blue. The attack time is the line right here. And then they are summarized up the top here. So the first one here in row two, model A, build sequence number seven. Currently it's station four, so that's the yellow one we're looking at here. Its station time is 16.76, which is 276 over the 1400 attack time, 16.4%. And this is the date time when it's going to occur. Same for the next one here is model B, build sequence three, which currently is at station eight. Its value is 1608, 208 over the 1400 tag time, 12.9% here. So we're gonna go and we're gonna look at this in the live application here, generating this report. So here we are back in Timer Pro, the schedule's been introduced. We've got some data in the background here. Now we want to generate the issue report. It's this option down here at the bottom left, the schedule issues. We know it's going to go to Excel because the Excel icon is here. We just click on that and it will start developing the Excel issue report for you here. So it's just going to build this up automatically for you. However many issues you have, you're going to get one sheet for each issue here. Now it's putting in the schedule and then it comes over to the summary page. Now in the summary page, the key column is A. Here you can see we've assigned an issue number here to all the issues we have, uh, have occurred here. Uh, we'll describe the model in which it occurs, where it occurs, the build sequence, what station it occurs at. Here's the station time, how much it's overtacked, and the percent overtacked. This obviously is a very important number because you want to focus on the higher ones that you have in here. The other ones you want to address first and the date and time when each of the issues will occur here. Uh, down here you can see for each issue, here we get one through eight. There is also a sheet down here one through eight. So each issue has given its own Excel sheet here. These are actually active. So if I double click on the number five here, it will take me out to issue number five here. And then here you can see all the details. And we could return, there's a return option at the top right here. You just click on that, it will take you right back to the sheet here. The reason we did this was obviously you could have quite a number of issues uh, and it become very difficult to navigate around. So we want to make this active so you could just click on here, double click here, it takes you out, click on the return at the top right here to take you back to the summary sheet here. You, can, you saw earlier we have the schedule sheet here as well and in all of the individual issues. So we're gonna go back and look at issue number five here. And here you can see, just like we saw in the introduction there, we have summarized the issues at the top here, these two rows here. And then we've given you the Yamazumi chart showing that uh, station number four and station number eight are the issues right here. And up at the top here, it says model A, build sequence number seven is currently at station number four. This is the station time. It's overtacked by this amount, and this is a percent overtacked, and this is the time when it occurs. Station four is the one in yellow right here. The next one down is model B, build sequence number three, currently at station eight here. This is the station time. This is how much it's overtacked and the percent here. And you can see it's showing you right here. So the idea here is you get a complete summary of every single issue that's going to happen with the current schedule that you're running in Timer Pro here. It's an excellent report. Here is where you're going to make a decision on what you have to research further here. So what we've done here, we've just shown you the 
Excel issue report. It's going to highlight all the issues we have to look at. And this is designed for offline review. So you can look at this with your supervisors, give it to them. They don't need Timer Pro. They can use it directly from Excel. And then they're going to decide what action is required. And that's what we're going to look at in the subsequent videos.